What's going on guys? So today I'm going to check out the Galaxy S7 Edge. Now, right now you can still pre-order this phone if you want to at um, Best Buy. And you will get, of course, the phone. You will get, if you pre-order it, uh, which you have to anyway. You get the phone, you get the 64GB Samsung SD card. Uh, you also get the Gear VR. So if they have these items available in store, you get them the same day. Even though the release date of the phone is March 11th, if they have the phone in stock, you also get the phone early. So that's another plus there. So we're going to take a look at these two. this phone here. It's been a couple of years since I had a Samsung device. The last one I had was the Galaxy Note 2. And um, it was a good phone, but I did realize after rooting it and putting stock Android on it, it ran a lot better. So from that point on, I went on to the first generation Moto X, then the second gen and the third gen. You know, I've been around a lot of phones, so I've seen how Samsung is. Not, I'm not a big fan of TouchWiz at all, and not too big of a fan of their practices. They have a lot of resources, and they're able to do a lot. So I'd expect more from them, but you know, the lack of innovation from them in the past couple of years is kind of sad. Yeah, they have the edge display, but it doesn't, it doesn't really change how you use your phone too much. Yeah, you have like the things on the sides, but that can also be done with an app as well. Um, but today, right now, we're just going to do the unboxing. So like I said, Best Buy, you get all these um, for free, and if they have it, same day. So not a bad deal. That's one benefit with Samsung. You know, with all that money, they do a lot of promotions. Sometimes they give away free TVs and all that nonsense. So I also picked up this spec case, too. So I'll take a look at that in another video. So let's go ahead with the unboxing. So I went with the Champagne Gold 32 gigabyte. And, um, yep, so it only comes in 32 gigabyte this time around. It uh, they did bring back the SD card, of course, so that's why that's there. There's the phone in all its glory. Got this little This almost almost looked like it was a case. It would have been kind of cool if they had a case included, but you know it's not usually the case. I, I did not mean to do a pun there, but it happened. And you have your um, yeah. One quick thing too, as you can see here, most of you already know this is a micro USB. Um, this is a Snapdragon 820, so it should have had a Quick Charge 3.0, but it's stuck with Quick Charge 2.0. And um, most of these usually go 5, 9, and 12, but this only goes 5 and 9. So I can't wait to see to test how fast this charges compared to the Moto X Pure Edition. And last one, so you have your little adapter here. This is going to make it easier for you to transfer items from one phone to another, from your old phone. But I mean, I usually back up my stuff on the cloud, so I don't really need that. Pull that and pull it out, and this does appear to be purple. Um, I'm not exactly sure why it's purple though. Oh, maybe it's, it might not be purple. Actually. Let's see. It's cool that they offer headphones for these, and I've seen a lot of people actually depend, like, they've made their decisions based on the fact that whether or not the phone had headphones or not. Uh, this is too but I'm pretty sure this is white. It looks purple, but it's white. It's just a box. Put it to the side. Alright, so VR out of the way. Let's get all this stuff out of the way as well. There we go with the phone. You got the little plastic cover. And you rip that off. There's the screen. So, you know, take a look at it while it's all shiny because that's most likely not going to last too much longer. And boom. So, Galaxy S7 Edge. 
I've already put the SD card in there. So let's turn this baby on and see what we got. So feel in the hand, definitely a lot better than the edge, of course, because they have curved the back, as you can see here. Speaker grill over there, microphone, headphone jack, micro USB port, another microphone. Of course, this is a, it also does, that's where the micro SD card goes, as well as the SIM. And you have your volume buttons on the side. I prefer them all on one side, but I'll get used to it, I guess. But yeah, in terms of the feel, it does feel much better than the S7 Edge. I remember the very first time I held the S7, or not the S7, the S6, it was terrible. I just hated it. As soon as I held it, I was like, yo, what's wrong with this phone? This phone does not feel good in the hand at all whatsoever. And then the guy told me, oh, you could always put a case on it. I'm like, I shouldn't have to put a case. They should have thought this out before they released the phone. But here we are. Oh, we use Wi-Fi. But while I connect to the Wi-Fi, I'll just go over some of the specs. You got um, 12 megapixel camera on the back, 1.7 aperture. Um, it has dual pixel technology, so the autofocus is going to be really, really fast on this one. You have a 3600 milliamp battery, 5.5 inch quad HD display. So, comparing it to the Moto X, it is slightly, it looks like it's almost about the same size. The Moto X is a little bit taller, but it does have a little bit bigger display. Definitely thinner than the Moto X. Yeah, it's a little bit shorter than the Moto X as you can see here. So definitely good size, I think, for a 5.5 inch. Not too bad. Feels pretty good in the hand. Like I said, much better than the S7. Not the best feeling phone, but it's definitely far from the worst. But as you can see, there are already some fingerprints on there. Probably a skin would be very good on this phone. I'll probably do a clear skin if you want to show off the gold. That's what I would do. But I have a clear case here for that anyway. A couple things I want to just do in this video. I want to check to see just how much storage is available. And also, I got a bunch of other things that I want to check out later. So I'm just going to skip everything for now and just go to the phone. Bare bones. No thanks. Why would I think I'm over there? I do have a Samsung account, but I'm going to skip all that. So there we go. We're on the home screen now. All right, SD card, case S4, transferring, photos and media. Let's click that, see what it says. Anyways, but let's go to the settings. Alright, so it's 9.41 out of 32, so that gives you about, yeah, so it does use quite a bit of the memory, that's almost 10 gigs, pretty much leaving you with about 22 gigs left, which can fill up pretty fast. Let's go to the SD card. Alright, I'll do that on another video, see what we can do about the memory, but it does suck that they, um, only have 32 gigabytes available this time around and they, they give you the SD card but we'll see alright so that was my quick unboxing for the Galaxy S7 Edge so far so good um, in terms of feeling the hand like I said it, it does feel pretty good obviously it's gonna be a fingerprint fingerprint magnet that's not a surprise to anybody uh, fill in the hand. There's always on display there already. Uh, it's already just enabled. 
but I wish like it was interactive, you know, it's not telling me much at all, like compared to something like this, where it tells me the time and I can look at my notifications, I can touch it, but here, got the date, battery, time, non-interactive, and yeah, so, I guess it would just kind of sit there. It would be cool, um, oh, there it goes. Anyways, so that's my quick unboxing for the S7 Edge. I'll give you guys my thoughts on it as I use it.